Hello girls. The purpose of this video is to give you some tips on using advanced Google search. We'll be using question 2 to demonstrate some advanced search techniques. It's this question. Outline how and why knowledge and understanding of Otzi, who he was, how he died, etc. has changed over time. Use both your textbook and advanced Google searching to help you answer this question. Now to answer this question we need to look at the ideas that archaeologists have come up with about Otzi's life. Some of these ideas have changed over time because they are more theory than absolute fact. They are strong educated guesses based on available evidence. That's what a theory is, an educated guess. There are different theories because archaeologists can put evidence together differently to come up with their own particular story about the past. As well, new evidence is discovered that proves that an old story is wrong and this evidence points to a new story. Archaeological tools such as DNA analysis have proved very useful in digging up new evidence and that's what makes history so exciting. For this activity, you will need to find secondary sources through searching on the internet. The whole purpose of advanced Google searching is to narrow your search to the most useful articles. Before we begin searching, we need to decide on some useful search terms. The name, Otzi, would be absolutely necessary. We want to know about his life, so the term life would be helpful. But what term can we use to capture the idea of changing ideas about Otzi? Here, theory is a useful term. A theory is a well-supported idea, but it is not absolute fact, as the evidence we work with is rarely complete. This is why theories change over time. They change with the discovery of new evidence. So let's hit on the advanced search link for this assignment and decide where we will write the terms Otzi, Life and Theory. As you can see, there are different search boxes. So let's write Otzi and Life in the Find All These Words search box. Should we write Theory here as well? I'm thinking that it might be better to write theory in the find any of these words search box in case the word theory is not actually used but similar or related words are used. So in the find any of these words search box I will write theory as well as theories and perhaps I'll also use the term idea and ideas. So if any of these words are in the article and they've got Otzi and life, then the search will retrieve those articles. Sometimes it is useful to write edu or edu in the search domain. That can help to find really high quality articles. But these articles are sometimes hard to understand you can experiment with that. So to start, start off with, let's run the search as it is through hitting the advanced search button. Okay. Here we have many search results. Before you decide to hit on a result, reading the little bit of text under the title gives you an idea about whether the article is worth reading. As well, be prepared for the fact that some articles may be too demanding for your reading level. That doesn't matter. Just move on to the next article or take what you can understand from that article. And of course, um, use a dictionary, Google a term or ask your teacher to help out. Okay, so we might... Okay, four different theories. CSI report solving the case of Otzi the Iceman. Theory one, theory two, theory three, and theory four. 
Okay, clearly this looks like a useful article that will help you. Uh, researchers may have cracked the case of how Otzi the Iceman died. Cracked the case. That's really capturing the idea that um, an historian involves in detective work in order to find information. So those, a lot of those articles do look useful, just scanning the titles. Okay, so as you find relevant information in some of the sources on your results page, you need to gather and sort this information as you go. Catching and sorting information is one of the most important research skills that there is. So what we'll do is go back to our page and we will hit on scaffold and model to help you make notes. Okay, here we are. So the best way to sort and gather information is to use a landscaped table on a Google Doc. So we've clicked onto the link onto the assignment teacher, oh, I'm sorry, on the assignment sheet and here we are. So you can see that I've colour coded it and you can see it's a table and we've got various columns. So let's note, so research tips are in red, sample notes in green, direct quotes underlined, notes in your own words are in green but have no underlining and the headings are blue. So the, what you do is, girls, is the first article that seems relevant to some aspect of your task, you will take down the URL address, so that little address at the top of the page, and copy it and paste it under a column. Now, you might read the, you've read the theory here in this article that Otzi was a shepherd. Here's the information that will help you locate that article again. And here are the notes. As Otzi's body was found on one of the tracks that had long been used by shepherds, historians originally thought that he might be a shepherd. You can tell that I have paraphrased that information. I'm not taking a direct quote, but I am expressing the information in my own words because it's not underlined. Okay, in the same article, article we've got information as to why the theory developed that Otzi was not a shepherd. So the theory that Otzi was a shepherd was contradicted through this evidence. So I've put the URL address again and I've got underlined, note, underlined notes indicating that it's a direct quote. And then, kept on reading, came across the idea that Otzi worked with copper. He may have been employed as a metal worker or employed in metallurgy. Okay, so again, the URL address and the direct quote has been underlined. Information about the evidence that perhaps suggests that Otzi was working with copper. And then that theory was contradicted. Otzi did not work with copper and the reasons why some people theorised that he did not work with copper. Again, the URL address. Some basic research steps are listed here. So if you follow these steps, girls, it will give you confidence for every question of this nature that you are investigating. So firstly, you decide what the question is asking you and you rewrite the question in your own words. Okay, an example of rephrasing or paraphrasing or writing the question in your own words is in square brackets underneath questions one and two on your worksheet. And the rewriting is also in blue, so that's been colour coded. The next thing is, when you're doing an internet search, is that you decide on the search terms that will help you to find your information. Okay, and you can listen to this view this video time and time again um, to see how we worked out those search terms. And of course you can experiment with search terms. If they're not successful, try others. 
The third step is to create a table that will help you to gather and sort your information. As you research, you may decide that you want to change the headings on the table. That is fine. Tables are easy to change and adapt, but they catch your information under logical headings, which makes it so much easier to sort out your ideas. We've also noted that copying and pasting quotes is fine. That makes a lot of sense when you're working from the internet, but you're never going to produce an answer that is just cut and paste. You're going to put things into your own words and down the track you will be learning a little bit about referencing, but not in this particular video. So you, it is very important for you in your note taking to separate direct quotes from information you put, you put into your own words so that you are academically honest, so that you don't steal other people's ideas um, and pass off someone else's work as your own. We noted that you need to put the URL address for information from each news source at the top of the notes that you make from that source. You won't lose the source details. You can always go back and check. This is such good practice skills that it will take you right through to year 12 and university. Finally, if you use the same source for information in more than one column, that's fine. Just copy the URL address again and again, as often as you need to, and paste it above those notes. And when you read another article that gives you a little bit more detail on one of the columns, just again, you put the URL address and those notes. And you, as you, in the course of your research, you may be adding columns or you might think, okay, well, I'll just make a, another table to catch that kind of information. So, I hope this has been useful for you girls and remember that if you haven't taken in everything the first time, the good thing about a video is that you can come back and pl play it as often as you need to.